Welcome to the Hope and Nevers for Teens podcast. My name is Zion, and today, by the grace of God, we will be reading the Hope and Nevers for Teens for today, January 3rd, 2024. Today's topic is talking about the period of relaxation. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you for everything. Thank you that we're here today. Thank you for the grace to see this new day. Like, we just thank you for just letting us enter the new year and so many other things, Lord. If we, the books on earth, if we were to write books, the old hurt can offer them all on how much we we're grateful, Lord. We pray that as we um, read this, as we listen and read, you will give us wisdom and we will put those wisdom in our, we'll use the wisdom in our daily life, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The memory verse for today's reading is taken from Matthew 13, 25. And it says, this is a KJV, by the way. And it says, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. Um, I'm going to read that again by an NIV. This is not included in the open evidence, but I feel like we had, I feel like we should. So this is an NIV. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. I'm about to read it in NLT. And it says, But that night, as workers slept, his enemies came and planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. I just felt a conviction to read that in different versions. The Bible reading for today, who, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Starting from Acts chapter 23 to verse 23 to 27. Woohoo! <laughs> and verse 23 says, And he called unto him two centurions, saying, Make ready two hundred soldiers to go to Caesarea. Sia- no, I butchered that, but let's not talk about that. And the horsemen, three scores and ten, and spearmen, two hundred, at the third hour of the night, verse 24, and provide them beasts that they may set on Paul and bring him safe to Felix the governor. Verse 25, and he wrote a letter after this manner. Verse 26, Claudius and Lysa, I know I butchered those names too, but we're not going to talk about that. Claudius and Lysa, unto the most excellent governor, Felix, send its greetings. This man was taken from the This is verse 27 now. And this man was taken from the Jews and should have been killed of them. Then I came with an army and rescued him, having understood that he was Roman. We're going to go to the message by God's grace. Uh, I pray you'll be touched. And this, by the way, this is Daddy Gia speaking because he wrote the message and stuff. By the grace of God. So, <laughs> so, it says, in today's Bible reading, we will read about military operation that was carried out at night when people would normally be relaxing. Hence, you need to be careful about your times of relaxation and what you do during these times. For example, we can see in Genesis 9, 20 to 27, how Noah, the man God rescued with his family, when the entire world got wiped out, relaxed and got drunk. As this made him pronounce a curse on his youngest son, who mocked him for being far, for far being naked. This was also during the period of relaxation that Samson lost his hair and strength. He relaxed on Delilah's knees and the enemy took advantage of his distraction and that is from Judges 16 to 19. The enemy always looks out for our periods of relaxation so that he can attack. My dear child, by the way, the strategy is speaking. <laughs> My dear child, be mindful of how you relax and the places you go to relax. A lot of young people have been poisoned while they were relaxing with drinking. What? I'm going to reread that. <laughs> Guys, no vex. <laughs> My child, be mindful of how you relax and the places you go to relax. A lot of young people have been poisoned while they were relaxing with friends over drinks. Some girls lost their integrity and others have been kidnapped or quote unquote or killed while quote unquote relaxing. 
your destiny will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. This year, do not relax on studying your Bible, praying, giving, working for God, and evangelizing. Do not give the devil an opportunity to attack. Stay alert at all times. Just to point out the intensity in this last um, paragraph, I'm going to read it again. This year, do not relax in studying your Bible, praying, giving, working for God, and evangelizing. Do not give the devil an opportunity to attack, so stay alert at all times. And the prayer point for today is be mindful of how you relax and the things you do at those times. And we'll, by the grace of God, we'll all be mindful in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a hymn, but I'm not going to sing it because you really don't want to hear these pipes. <laughs> I'm going to try. The, the hymn 20, Christians seek not yet repose. I don't think I know this one, but let's give it a try. Christians seek not yet repose. Hear thy guardian angel say, Thou art in the midst of foes. Watch and pray. Principalities and powers must read their unseen rays. Must read. Wait for their. Wait for thy unguarded hours. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Create their heavenly armors on. Wear it every night and day. Ambush lies the evil one. So watch and pray. Here the victors all okay. came. Still they march the warriors way. Ah, the sweet voice could hear. So watch and pray. I really thought I ate that up. I pray you use this wisdom you just received in your daily lives. I pray uh, God will have mercy on all of us. And yeah, just not forget to thank God for everything he has done. And y'all actually prayed a prayer point. No, I'm, I'm gonna pray it. So I actually prayed a prayer point after listening to this. And just to, just to repeat the prayer point, it's gonna be, the prayer point for today is be mindful of how you relax and the things you do so actually pray the prayer point guys and bye hope you see thank you for listening thank you for coming and yeah so yeah thank you thank you and hope you were blessed